how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited right now, I can barely contain myself. So for the longest time, uh, you recommended me to read TJ Kloon literally under every video where I talk about queer romances. So it's not like I didn't want to read any of his books, it's just he has so many and I didn't know where to start. And to my complete surprise, I didn't ask for it, I didn't look for it, the publicist from Tor contacted me and asked me if I want to read The House in the Cerulean Sea, which is coming out on 17th of March. It's going to be 28th of March when I'm going to post this video, but as of filming this video, it's not the date of release yet. So of course I couldn't miss this opportunity and I agreed to read and review it and I'm going to do it in a vlog form. So welcome to the vlog. This is going to be my first time reading to Jacqueline and I'm going to start with The House in the Civilian Sea apparently. It's a contemporary fantasy, it promises me a found family troupe, which I love. And it's about a guy named Linus, who is a caseworker for a department of magical youth. His job basically entails overseeing the well-being of children, magical children, I suspect, in government-sanctioned orphanages. And at the start of the novel, he is given a classified assignment to uh, travel to one of the orphanages because something suspicious is happening there. And in this orphanage, he, I suspect, is going to fall for the caretaker of these kids. The summary alone sounds like so much fun and I can't wait to dive into it and just get all the feels. Anyway, I have like a half of a day free. I have zero plans. So I'm just going to start the book and I'm going to update you while I read along. Hi, so I'm about 20% into the book. This is my cat's doing. He decided that he doesn't want to take the pill that I needed him to swallow, so he attacked me instead. I'm vibing so hard with this book. I love it so far. I don't know which direction the book is going to go. I feel like I'm going to enjoy it, but I'm not raising my expectations yet. It's very immersive. I feel like I'm watching a movie, actually. And also, it just came to me yesterday that this book reminds me of Percy Jackson. Specifically, it's the book that I hoped Percy Jackson is going to be. I read Percy Jackson when I was 20-something, and it didn't work for me because it's obviously written for younger teens, which is very valid. But this book is kind of Percy Jackson-y, has a similar vibe. It doesn't feel like the kids that have these magical powers are superheroes. It kind of feels like they are descendants of supernatural creatures or descendants of gods. After familiarizing myself with the synopsis, I thought that Linus, the protagonist, is going to be a part of the department that oversees kids, magical kids, health and prosperity and future. And it turns out that the department that he's in is actually overseeing that these kids don't use their powers. So it's an organization that is established to restrict magical beings, which certainly is a bit of a different story. And he is sent to one of the orphanages to make sure that the master or headmaster is in line with their rules. It's super fun. I think it would make a cool TV show actually or a movie. I tend to like TV shows more so in my ideal world, it would be a TV show. I like all the characters. The way T.J. Clune describes characters kind of reminds me of Gilmore Girls. Because in Gilmore Girls, all the characters, even the background ones, are those big characters that are very distinctive. And it's something that I see in this book as well. Anyway, it's taking me on a journey. I'm enjoying it so far. I will see you with my next update, I guess, today around evening time. I am wearing a horn on my forehead and I'm also eating some noodles while in bed, but I had quite a day, so I think it's allowed. I also do that a lot. I know it's like a bad habit, but I like it. These are good. Anyway, it's not going to stop me from giving you an update, because I finally realized what this book reminds me about, take the Adams family, mash it with Hotel Transylvania, the cartoon, and also add a sprinkle of Harry Potter. 
that's it that's the bug it's literally about this house full of children who are also monsters but like in a good way it's very joyful i adore lucy lucy is short for lucifer he's the son of the devil and even though i don't like kids i really love him he is a menace and i love him and also i adore chauncey i love chauncey so much he is a beautiful blob and he deserves everything all the love of the world. He's so precious and I want to protect him from everything in this world. I'm enjoying myself so much. It's kind of a dream book for me because I want adult fantasy to be this whimsical and fun and usually you get dark stuff. Usually when it's adult fantasy everyone gets murdered or tortured or whatever and I just want new adult and adult stuff to be as fun as young adult stuff is. So this book is just right up my alley. I have about 30% uh, left and I'm feeling some vibes between Linus and Arthur and I can't wait. I'm all about it. I'm going to finish my meal and read more. Maybe I will finish the book today and I'll get back to you with my final thoughts. The fact that I'm not leaving my house at all uh, helps with the reading because I finished The House in the Cerulean Sea and now I'm going to pick up another book. But first, let's talk about this book. I think the main question here is did I like it and will I continue reading TJ Klune's books? Will I go through his backlist? And yes, I did really like it. I found it to be very charming and very wholesome and in general such a great read for the current situation because the only thing that I want to think about right now is something positive and uplifting, something full of adventures. I just don't really want to read anything dark right now because first of all I'm not in the mood and second of all I feel like there's a lot of darkness around us at the moment so there's no need to be boggled down in your reading journey too. There were a few plot twists at the end of the book that I kind of expected. I wouldn't call this novel especially shocking and I think it's not the goal. The point of this novel clearly is to show that even the weirdest of us are deserving of love and that is straight up a beautiful message. I surprisingly, even though I'm not a huge fan of kids in fiction and in general, love the kids. I think they were so delightful, especially because they didn't feel their age because they were supernatural and they were actually older than their bodies. My faves are still Lucy and Chauncey, although I do love literally every character in this book, except for the bad ones, clearly. The romance between uh, Linus and Arthur was beautifully slow burn. I knew that there was going to be something between them. It's kind of in the summary, but they were just so good for each other. Sometimes you read romances and this book is not especially romance focused, it's just on the background. And you're like, why these two people are even together? Because they don't complement each other, they don't really match, they don't have any similarities or similar interests, and their whole drive is sexual attraction. In this case, I could easily tell why they are attracted to each other and why they would be better together, which is so important in a romance. Anyway, I obviously highly recommend it, and I'm going to read other books by T.J. Klune. I will probably start with his Werewolf series, because it's one of the most popular ones. I've also seen some art for it, and I can't wait to read it. To my disappointment, Script only carries the audiobooks, and I prefer reading ebooks when I can, but I'm going to deal with that somehow. That is all, that is the end of the reading vlog. In the comments down below, tell me if you read any of the books by T.J. Klune. And which ones are your favorite? Are you excited for The House in the Superman Sea? Have you read it already? Because it's been out for maybe a week or so. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon with another one. But until then, 